Hey guys! In the last video, what we did is we downloaded a set of files that make up a, an entire website, and we were going to use that to build our website. Well, since then, I found another possibility. If you look at the, um, the website here, let me turn off my email. If you look at the website assignment, there's a how-to down here, and this is the first video I was talking about. And in that video, I downloaded the template from this first site here. But I think um, I like a template in this, from this site instead, so I'm going to use this one. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like is fine with me. So we're just going to repeat the process that we went through before. And I'm going to download... Um, this is a good one for restaurants. Um, I'm going to download this Laura template. So I'm going to go ahead and download it and pick free download and I'm going to get the zip file it's going to be in my downloads folder and it gets uncompressed so here is a bunch of files that are for my website so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these files that are in the Laura folder and put them into my website folder so this is my new website it's called Arch City Leather okay and I have a whole set of files there now there's two things I want to do with my index.html file. I want to preview it in a browser. So I'm going to open that in a browser. So I'm just going to drag it onto Firefox. Now if you were using Windows, you would do file and open. And I could preview this in any browser. And then I also want to look at the code at the same time. So I'm going to open that same file in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go look at my new website in index.html. Now, this website, let's take a look at what it looks like. It's actually all on one page. And if I click on the links, instead of going to a different HTML page, they're bringing me to a different section of the website. And this is kind of nice for a small website like this. And that's why I like the template. I'm just building a website, a small website. And in the instructions, I told you you have to have five pages. Well, five sections is fine too. So um, I think this will work for my particular project. I've planned my project, and let's take a look at my flowchart so you know what I'm trying to build here. So um, where did I put it? It's over here. Is this my flowchart? Yeah. So I'm just trying to build a small site that has five pages. But like I said, five sections either way is, is fine. And this is the structure of my site. Now, if I were having it going to separate pages for each one of this, this each one of these pieces of content, instead of pound about, I would have about.html. But because I looked at this template and I realized that it's just jumping to a different part of the page. When I click on that, those links in the main menu bar, it's called an anchor link, and that's, that's what this means right here. So lucky for me, in this template, two of the sections are the same as what I need, about and contact. But I wanna have personalized goods in process as two of my sections. So I'm gonna to need to make some edits to the template, and this is exactly what I want you to be doing, is to find a template that looks sort of like what you want and make some changes to it to make it your own and then upload it into your web space. Okay, so let's open that index.html file and see if we can make sense of it. So I want to first change the page title. You guys remember the title tag. So instead of Laura Bootstrap theme, I'm going to say Arch City leather, uncommon personalized goods made in St. Louis, Missouri. The title is actually something that search engines look at, so I want to make sure I make a good title that describes exactly what my website is all about. Now I'm going to save it, and in Dreamweaver, do you see that little star right there? That indicates your file hasn't been saved, so I'm going to save it. Go to my browser where I was previewing it and hit refresh and you see my title has changed. Great. Okay, 
Now let's go about changing some of these links to make them be what I want them to be. About is fine, and it jumps down to the About section. Portfolio, I want to change, right, to our process and, um, dang, what was it? Uh, personalize in our process. Okay. So you can kind of make sense of these, um, this, this code here if you just kind of don't get too wrapped up in all the details. Um, the first thing I want you to notice, do you see where it says meta name description, meta name keywords? I would obviously want to change those to match the content of my site. Now these are all different style sheets it's importing in and they've come with the, um, the template. So if I just upload all my files that are in that template folder, then I will be fine. Okay, so these are all in the CSS directory. You can see it's referring to CSS, font awesome, min.css. Okay, well, if you look in CSS, there's font awesome, min. So those have to get uploaded with everything else that I do. All right, so I can see here, do you see how it says navbar, navbar brand, and here, right here, this ahref about, this is saying make a link called about and have it jump to the about section. I want to leave that as is, but I want to change portfolio to, remember, personalized goods. Okay, so we'll say personalized goods, and I want to change this to personalized. Okay, testimonial, I want to change to um, our process. And now let's save it and let's preview it. And what we will see is that the menu items have changed, but now these are not going to go anywhere because I haven't changed the name of the section. It's still looking for it's looking for a section called personalized and that's not there. It's still called um, testimonials or whatever it was before. So we'll need to go in and fix that. And you can kind of see in your code, you know, here we have these divs and all a div is is representing different sections of the page. So there's div about, ID section is called about. Here's the section called portfolio. I need to change this to Portfolio is personalized goods. So this is personalized. Because that pound personalized means go to the section that has the ID of personalized. So this has to match what I set up above. And the next one is process. So instead of testimonial, I will call this process. Save it. Okay, and then I am going to preview it again. We'll reload it. Personalized goods goes to my personalized goods. Now I need to change this content down there, um, but we'll get to that in the next video.